blew up, sending fragments into his skull. His body was discovered by firefighters who'd come to tackle the blaze at his home in St. Petersburg in Florida. Well, with me is John Dunn from the UK Vaping Industry Association. And we, the first thing we should say is this is such a rare story. But when something goes wrong, you're talking about something that's, that's right next to your face. Exactly. Um, well, one thing to understand um, with this case, and obviously it's regrettable when we send out condolences. However, electronic cigarettes themselves don't explode. It's batteries that explode. So one thing to really understand is buying products from a very reputable source, um, looking at your batteries to make sure that there's no deterioration, um, and really storing them in, in a responsible way. Um, it, it, it now, how often to, should you replace the device? Um, the devices themselves vary from, from, from one manufacturer to another. But I would say on, on a monthly basis, you should be looking at the device, inspecting it, make sure there's no damage to it. Um, you know, these are high-powered batteries that are being used, very similar to those that are used in cell phones and computers. Um, so you, it, there is a, a little bit of responsibility there on the consumer's part to, to maintenance. And it's these lithium-ion batteries, but I suppose if you're talking about, about a, lap, a laptop, for example, it is at least away from you. So you need more care in the case of electronic cigarettes? Exactly. Um, but one thing to understand about this case as well is the device was purchased from a non-reputable source in the Philippines. Um, so one advice I would give to consumers is buy from a reputable source. Um, if it, the price is too cheap to, to be true, it probably is. That's a really good warning, a, a very uh, good thought to end on. John Dunn, thank you very much. No problem. Let's get more now on our top story, the royal wedding of...